facility in Austin, we bring back Ed Cunningham. And how can a facility like that play a role in recruiting in Texas, Ed? Uh, it's a big deal. I mean, it's a beautiful place. It's in a great city in Austin. Uh, and they really do a nice job at Texas. Of uh, They've just rebuilt the stadium. It looks beautiful. Uh, that, that is a very big deal because if you're a kid playing in the state of Texas, Right now, that's the place to go. There's some struggles down the road at Texas A&M. Obviously, Texas Tech is getting a little bit of headway, but right now, the crown jewel in the state of Texas, if you want to stay in Texas right now, it's the University of Texas. A lot of it has to do not just with Mac Brown, but the buildings that they're putting around that, uh, their facilities. Yeah, a Texas kid, Garrett Gilbert, who is uh, the number two quarterback in ESPNU's top 150, he signed on with the Longhorns. How good can this kid be? You know, I always, Kevin, it's so hard because you don't know how good the competition was he played against high school. The coaches at Texas have been raving about this young man for several years, and it's about the perfect situation for him. He doesn't have to do anything this year. Colt McCoy is there. He's going to learn from one of the best in the history of the program. So we'll see if he's going to translate into a great college quarterback, but couldn't be a better situation for Gilbert in his freshman year. Recruiting in the Lone Star State, crucial in the battle for the Big 12. And check this out, 140 total players from the state of Texas are on the rosters at Texas and Oklahoma. 97 play for the Longhorns, 43 for the Sooners. And by the way, the Red River rivalry, October 17, 2009. And Ed, Texas has won three of the last four in this series. What's been the key for them of late? Yeah, how many people do you think know that October 17th date in those parts? Probably a lot of them. Uh, you know, it was interesting that for a while there, Mac Brown was taking some heat because he couldn't win that game. And they changed their focus a little bit, and they started focusing in on Oklahoma, and that's kind of what they built their whole year around. I think they've made it more of a focus. And what will be interesting to watch this year uh, when you go into that game is you, you kind of have a, a flip of the coin on the lines. Remember, Oklahoma is going to be rebuilding basically their entire offensive line, and that's going to be going up against a almost completely rebuilt Texas defensive line. So here we sit a long way away from October 17th, but it's not too early to say that the key, I think, to that game is going to be in October 17th. Which line? Is it OU's offensive line or Texas' defensive line that gets better faster through the beginning of the season before they get to Dallas for that game? All right, looking ahead, Texas has 14 returning starters. We know about Colt McCoy. Tell us who else will be the key for this Longhorn team. Well, they got great news of Texas when Jordan Shipley was given his sixth year uh, of eligibility because he missed his first two years due to injury. Of course, Quan Cosby is gone, who was a, a great compliment to Shipley last year, but Quan Cosby was injured a little bit. A couple other young uh, receivers stepped up, and four out of the five offensive linemen are back for Texas. This has been a young group that's been on the verge of being great. This might be the year that the Texas offensive line finally pays off from several years of very good recruiting up front. All right, coming up on College Football Live, plenty ahead 